Hello and welcome to this new video episode of Citrix micro learning series. This video will guide you on how to upgrade your Citrix ADC via command line in a few simple steps. Knowing how to upgrade your Citrix ADC is key. Whether you're new to Citrix ADC or a seasoned ADC admin, keeping your ADC up to date gives you benefits and security as well as getting the most from your ADC with new features. So with that in mind, let's get right to it. Before we begin the update, let's make sure we have the right tools. We will need an FTP application to transfer the new firmware to the ADC. In this case, I will be using FileZilla. Also, a terminal console to connect to the ADC and execute the upgrade commands. And finally, we will need to download the new firmware from the Citrix download site. Okay, so here we are in our ADC. We're gonna use our credentials to log in. And first, you will be presented with the system screen. This will give you system information, your IP address, network mask, hardware information as your platform, etc. If you look to the upper right hand corner, you will see the username as you're logged in, in this case, NSroot. If you click on the drop down, you'll be able to see the version you're running, in this case, 13.058.32. Okay, so now that we know what version we're running, let's head over to the Citrix download site. That's citrix.com forward slash downloads. Select our product, in this case, Citrix ADC, and we'll be presented with the different firmware versions available for download. Since we're running 13.0, I'm gonna click on firmware, and this is the latest one, 13.067.39. We're going to click on that and enter our Citrix account credentials to be able to access the Citrix firmware. Okay, so we have access to the newest firmware now. Make sure you go through the notes and the release notes. The release notes contain key information on new features and security enhancements. So make sure you go through those. Let's click on download file, get the new firmware, and through the magic of video editing, we'll have this downloaded in no time. Okay, so now we have the file downloaded to our local computer. I'm gonna open FileZilla and enter the NSIP for my Citrix ADC, along with the username and password, and to connect on port 22. Okay, so now that we are connected, we will go to the root directory, then we will go into var, and then ns install. Within the NS install folder, we will create a new folder, which I'm gonna name build 13.067. And it's always good to keep a good naming convention. That's why I'm doing the build plus the number so that I don't get confused in the future. Now looking on the left-hand side of the menu, I'm gonna look for the location where I store the file, which was my desktop. I'm gonna double click on the firmware file to transfer it over to the Citrix ADC. And once this is done, we'll move to our terminal application to start putting in those commands to actually get the upgrade done. Now moving to our terminal application, I'm gonna enter the NSIP and my username and password to actually connect to the Citrix ADC CLI. We're gonna start by typing in shell to access the Citrix ADC file system. Next, we're going to navigate to cd slash var slash ns install and then do a quick ls just to verify the contents. There is our build 13.067. So we're gonna go into that folder and do a quick ls to verify the contents again. So there is our firmware, which we're going to extract with the tar command along with the parameters cxbf, where c means the file is a gzip file X is to extract the files. V is to print the file names as they are extracted one by one. And F is to use the following tar archive for the operation. So next to that, we add the build name and hit enter. This will uncompress the bundle downloaded from the Citrix website. And now all that is left to do is to run the command dot forward slash install NS and hit enter. This will kick in the process of upgrading your Citrix ADC. 
Once the upgrade is complete, it'll ask you to reboot. We're going to say yes, hit enter, and then we'll go back to the GUI to check for the running version. So now you can see the upgrade is completed and we're running the latest version 13.067. Thank you for joining me on this video for Citrix Micro Learning. We'll see you next time.